Hi, welcome to the CVM podcast. I'm Phoebe. And I'm Sam. And we're back this episode with an interview with Brother Mike LeDuc from Ontario in Canada to talk to us about the work that he does in particular with This Is Your Bible. And sadly, we, we didn't have the budget for a flight to Canada. So this interview was done over Zoom. And so we apologise. Uh, because of that, the sound quality is a little bit crackly in some places. So we interviewed Mike uh, in regards to his work as the admin manager for This Is Your Bible. And he's a really interesting brother from Canada. And it was a fantastic time that we both had um, talking with him and finding out all these interesting stories um, and really insightful uh, statistics about what, how many people are currently using the website. So we hope you enjoy. Um, let's go. So could we start off with you kind of telling us what This Is Your Bible is and a bit of an overview? Sure. Um, so this, this Is Your Bible is uh, it's the official internet presence for uh, the various CBM organizations around the world. So it's supported by the CBM UK is supported by the CBMA slash C, that's uh, the Christadelphia Bible Mission of the Americas slash Canada. And then, and then the ACBM is very active. This is your Bible.com is an English language uh, site. And it's kind of cool in a way because there are a lot of people in, in uh, non-English speaking countries that are really keen to use sites like this to learn about the Bible, but also to improve their English and connect with English speaking tutors. So we, uh, we have a, a, a worldwide um, audience. And uh, right now we have over 40,000 people registered on the site. We have uh, between 60 and 70,000 on average visitors a year to the site. Uh, and of those 40,000, not all of them are active currently. We have, we have about almost 30% of them are active, like about 28,000, I think. Uh, not, no, not 28,000. What am I saying? 12,000. Well, if you, to be precise, 12,141. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> um, so... We, and we have over 500 Christadelphians signed up who are now active as, as tutors. We have a, like 500 and let's see if I can see my little thing. I think it's 512. Nope, 552 <laughs> tutors. <laughs> and, uh, and, we've, and we've had over, over the year, we started, uh, the, the site started in 2006. Uh, it was the brainchild of the CBMA, actually through brother David Jennings and David got uh, yours truly and brother Peter Forbes from the UK involved. And Peter and I uh, worked very, very closely on the initial versions uh, of the site. And it was a, a young brother who was probably even a little younger than you guys at the time. He designed the site and he did it at, at, and, and kind of earned his, uh, it was like his thesis, right? I think we've had about four iterations of, of the site now. And, and uh, right now we have, uh, there's a brother, Duncan Kenzie, who lives in uh, near Victoria, British Columbia, who is sort of our technical guru. And, uh, and, and he's sort of the, the project manager for the site. And there's a brother who the CBM rep, we have a little committee. We really get Christadelphians. We love to form committees between committees and acronyms. It's unbelievable. <laughs> um, so there's uh, Duncan Kenzie, Robert Allison, John Hale, uh, and then I'm the I'm sort of the guy. The what do they call it? The eminence grise behind the scenes. You know, <clears throat> I'm the uh, I'm the I'm the admin guy. But I'm also a tutor. I've got a whole whack of students, and uh, we've had uh, I've had a couple of baptisms from my students, which is really exciting. We have various uh, kinds of, of uh, things you can do with, with this as your Bible, not just to be a tutor. We have every, as far as I know, every ecclesia in the world is represented in the website under, you know, like contact us. There's a map and there's a, you know, so oh. every ecclesia has a web page. 
And you can and you can have an ecclesial web page manager and fix it up how you like. Anybody can do it. I've had a, a one one lovely tutor, a sister, a sister named Dolores Fisher, and she uh, yeah she's far far enough. I'm out of reach, so she she can't get at me. But Dolores is she's just a delightful sister. Uh, her husband isn't in the meeting, and she lives in semi isolation. I think she's part of the Pomona. Uh, California Ecclesia, it's a suburb of Los Angeles. And she's up in the mountains near a place called Lake Elsinore, which is just one step short of paradise. But uh, she, with her computer reaching out all over the world, she's had like three or four baptisms. Uh, I think one in full family in California. Now, this is the kind of thing that uh, you know, I think that a, that a website preaching is impersonal, and it's just the opposite. The main, the, the, one of the fundamental precepts of thisisyourbible.com is to connect students, Bible students, with tutors, Christadelphian tutors, so that they can form a relationship you know, with their students and form a relationship through the, uh, the tutor, if possible, a formal relationship. With a, with a relatively nearby ecclesia. That doesn't always work, given the reach of the internet and uh, kind of the spotty nature of the ecclesial location. So have you had any good stories from your students? Well, I, I had a student, uh, and uh, she lived in Toronto. I live in a place called Waterloo, which is about an hour and a half west of uh, Toronto, a little bit north. She had known a brother... And, uh, and his family, because her husband used to work with this brother. And this brother's name is Al Hussey. So she had known Al, was very impressed with the with him and his family and what Chris Adelphian seemed to stand for. 20 years later, a, there's a marriage breakup and all kinds of stuff. And she's sort of on her own. And she stumbles across, this is your Bible, Chris Adelphians. Mm, okay. So she took the course. And she was going through the course back and forth. She had all kinds of questions and stuff. And then she said, can you tell me where I can, you know, where I can attend a, a Christadelphian meeting? So I said, well, you should, yeah, why don't you try Bible class to begin with? So I told her about uh, a collegia called Cosburn Avenue, which is now Toronto East. It's one of the larger ecclesias in, in Toronto. <laughs> so one, one evening, Bible class evening. She shows up. Bible class starts at eight. She's there at about two minutes after eight. They just finished. They're nothing if not punctual around here. Just finished the uh, the opening prayer. So she waited and, and da- down in the basement of the hall, right? So she goes down in the basement of the hall and everybody's gathered around, you know, sitting around the tables with their Bibles open. And this, this sister was very shy. Yeah, not. She came in and said, looked at everybody and said, hi, I'm Joanne. I'm new. (laughs) (laughs) It's hilarious. And she hooked up with uh, a brother and sister, uh, and they uh, took her under their wing. Not only did she flourish with the instruction and everything, and was eventually baptized, uh, the Dawes and, and she are lifelong friends now. That what that's what it's all about, right? Yeah, it's amazing. That's amazing yeah, yeah, and uh, th- th- these kinds of stories are replicated all over the place. Let me uh, back up a bit and and uh, just say a little bit more about what's available on thisisyourbible.com. So as I say, we've got a, a section of videos. So we've so we've got a, we got a section on videos. We've got uh, just about every pamphlet uh, known to Christadelphia. Uh, under our library section, broken down into sections like doctrine. Uh, we, we even have the little short ones, the basic Bible teaching booklets, and you can access all of those. We also have a, a, a database for anybody can access, like any visitor, casual visitor coming in, can access uh, this database of questions. There are thousands since 2006 just thousands of questions and answers. And there's a little search thing that you can type in, say, Trinity, and all the stuff, questions on the Trinity, Holy Spirit, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if you're looking for information, just 
you know, if you if you're just kind of hunting around for information, you can go to thisisyourbible.com and use it as a resource, as a little library. And also the, the library section has all these different uh, bits of uh, there's there's lots of lots of stuff in there, uh, lots of good information. Uh, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So if somebody, if you're a tutor, for example, if somebody, some student asks you a question, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You Probably it's been asked. I mean, there's, I don't know how many thousand Q and A's we've got. We've got a brother, a lovely brother, uh, brother Glenn Smith uh, for the last couple of years has been uh, answering the questions and he's amazingly thorough. Um, there's a thing prompt there that says, ask a question. We have uh, uh, a, a blog. Uh, that blog changes uh, monthly. Right now, it's called the, the current one is called Required Happiness, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and uh, and we have a, we also have a survey question. So, for example, this month's survey question is: Once saved, always saved. Do you know? So, yeah. Mike, go ahead. Do you know, sorry. Do you know like? Would you have a rough idea of maybe like how many baptisms or like how many? See, the problem is we, we're not told of all of the baptisms that mm -hmm. kind of flow out of this is your Bible. Because what happens ideally is that they connect with the ecclesia. And yeah. then sometimes they kind of stop Well, like they still interact with their tutors and stuff. But they the interaction with the ecclesia becomes more important. And we're happy that that happens. Yeah. So, but we kind of sometimes lose track of them. But as far as I know, from the from the ones that we know, there have been about 200 baptisms since 2006. Wow. I'm I'm sort of surprised there haven't been more, and I'm sure there are more mm. out there. But uh, I mean, that story showed, didn't it, that actually just having had an impact at one time, it could be 20 years later oh, that then absolutely. there's another impact. Yeah, I, and, it's amazing. Yeah. And, and with Zoom, you know, people, you know, doing preaching work on Zoom and this kind of thing. Well, I, I had a student uh, a fellow named Tom Davis in British Columbia. Now I'm in Ontario. So Tom, Tom is an older guy, he lived in a place called Fairmont Hot Springs. And he had been in Vancouver visiting and had run into a sister who lives in Victoria. They bumped into each other at a coffee shop, started talking. Yeah. And uh, uh, so she got him involved in uh, thisisyourbible.com. And so he, he went through uh, This Is Your Bible. Uh, this Is Your Bible. So exploring the Bible was the course that he, he was using. And uh, I was his tutor. So he's living in Fairmount Hot Springs. There's nobody. You know, the nearest ecclesia is Calgary. Alberta. That's all it was, and that's a, a long way away. So to make a long story longer, uh, Tom Tom decided he was going to get baptized. He thought, hey, this is kind of this is amazing stuff. And and uh, said, okay, well, which meeting do you would want to go to? You know, like there's Vernon, there's Calgary, or you could kind of until COVID settles down, because he was planning to move anyway. And I think he was planning, planning to move to Victoria. Uh, but you could belong to my meeting, the Kitchener Waterloo Ecclesia, because who cares where you are? It's, you know, it's just that. So <laughs> how is he going to get baptized? Tom hmm. um, said, well, take a look at my bathtub. Well, I've seen smaller swimming pools. <laughs> got a sign on his bathtub saying swim at your own risk. <laughs> so. So we did a, a, a baptism with the whole ecclesia in his in, in his bath, you know, like he said, his bathtub, in his bathtub. We were there. We said, do you, Tom Davis, do you believe in the things concerning the kingdom of God? I do. And away you go. And, uh, and we had his, his welcome into fellowship and the whole thing online. Oh. But again... Oh. He's, so he's in the truth. He shows up on Sunday morning uh, very regularly. Uh, so now, uh, you know, so, so he, he's a brother in Christ because of a, quote, chance encounter in Vancouver. And he lived in this place, Fairmont Hot Springs, and she's from Victoria. That's really, really awesome.
Um, so how does the interaction between the students and the tutors kind of work? It's uh, so, for example, the student uh, reads the lesson or listens to the lesson if they're not doing the uh, there's a there's one of our courses available in North America. And I think they're using it now in the ACBM as well called the Learn to Read the Bible Effectively course, which is a video course, uh, along with Walking with Jesus. That's also a video course. Um, but uh, the rest of it, so they, the CBM's 40 lesson course, and they also have their 18 lesson course, which is more suitable for people with English as a second language, mm -hmm. um, and uh, exploring the Bible, which is the primary one that we use uh, in uh, actually the, in Australia and here in, in uh, North America, we use exploring the Bible. So that they read the lesson, and then you, you click on an icon to go to the Q&A form. And it's all form driven. And so there's the question and they add a text box. They type in their response and they work down through their questions. And then uh, there's a button at the bottom that says submit answers to, to tutor. Mm -hmm. So submit it. So they submit the answer to the tutor. And as soon as that happens, the tutor is automatically notified in their email that the tutor, that the student has done that and they're encouraged to go and, and check the answers. Now, the student isn't held up until the tutor can do that. They can move on to the next lesson. As soon as they submit one lesson, the next one's available. However, they, so when, they, when, the tutor, when the tutor marks the lesson, they can check the, they, if there's a little checkbox underneath the answers. So if they leave one of the checkbox boxes empty, that means that yeah, it's not really a kosher answer. And they might put, a, put their own version of the answer there, leave the box unchecked. And then they save that response. And as soon as that happens, another email is sent out to the student this time saying, hey, your answers have been checked, go take a look. And uh, so they go in and take a look and they're, they're asked to comment and, and uh, or asked to revise whatever answer it was. If they're saying, huh, I was right, you guys are wrong. Well, then a conversation ensues <laughs> and hopefully we don't lose the student. So that, that's how that works. So it's all automatic. One thing I would like to uh, emphasize for ecclesias um, is that they can, there's, there's a, uh, we have, uh, different types of, of users. There's the admin, there's a few of us, there's the uh, tutor and the student, but we also have the regional student coordinator. Of course, there's an acronym coming, the RSC. <laughs> the RSC is somebody that an ecclesia has designated to receive all the contacts from thisisyourbible.com on there, this is your Bible ID. So, for example, in a particular ecclesia, like I'm the I'm the regional student coordinator for the area around uh, around my uh, my ecclesia, uh, and and also for Quebec, and also for Saint Lucia. Uh, so, anybody registering from any of those places comes to my ID, and so I know who they are. Now, I don't have to manage them all. I can have a team of tutors, and I can transfer them over to you know, to a particular tutor, uh, but I know who they are. And, and as an RSC, for example, in a given area, so if I'm going down to St. Lucia, one of the things I'll do is I can bring up all of the, the St. Lucian uh, students and send them a mass emailing. So I can, I can just type up within all done within this is your Bible.com, not from my, not from my regular email address. So they'll get an email from admin at this is your Bible.com. Uh, advertising uh, a special effort or advertising, uh, we're planning on doing some radio, maybe some TV spots in St. Lucia uh, in, the, in the coming year. So we can advertise that uh, to them as well. So we've, and so, so, you know, we can hit these people. We've got their email addresses. We're sort of, we're allowed to do that because we're, you know, we, it's, it's all done within the boundaries of thisisyourbible.com. Okay. So it's not using it as something you know, something different, like selling their IDs. Or yeah, it's anyway, it just I'm, as amazing. Uh, is there anything um, else? Yeah, yeah is, is there anything else that yeah. you'd kind of like to say or tell us or anything um, before we leave you to it? Or, uh, yeah. Um, 
Well, just the, this is your Bible.com. People need to remember there's uh, so it's it's sort of an official CBM or Christadelphian site. Um, also, that in this day and age, it's just such an ideal way of preaching. It's great. You know, a contact asks you a question. You're not kind of going, duh, you know, <laughs> when you're face to face. Because, you know, you can go, go away, do your little bit of research and whatever and get back to them. Uh, there's no pressure. It's, it's a very comfortable system. It's very easy to use. I mean, if I can be the administrator at my age, what the heck? Anybody can do it. Uh, <laughs> and, and, you, and, I, and I always people to good old sister Dolores Fisher. Uh, who's, I think, in her 80s now, maybe even, I won't say the exact age, because she'd, really <laughs> she'd probably make the trip up here. You know, if Dolor Dolores, if you saw her, you'd see just a lovely little old lady, right? And she's on her computer, and people are getting baptized because of her work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, th thank okay. you so much. God for bless. This. It's, so it's, really it's been nice. a treat. Yeah. Thanks to yeah, Mike. Really I'm over in Canada. I'll uh, give you a call. <laughs> Please uh, make make sure it's in in the fall. That's probably the best time. <laughs> All right. So we hope you enjoyed that and enjoyed listening to Sam invite himself to Canada. Obviously, it would be really great if we hear that loads of you have signed up to become tutors on the This Is Your Bible website. If you've got some time, it'd be really great if you could consider doing that. Um, we now have some information from around the world, from brothers and sisters in various countries who are currently facing difficulties. Um, as many of you may have seen on a recent bulletin, Tonga has recently undergone a uh, undersea volcanic eruption and it significantly affected Tonga. Um, we have managed to make some contact with the brothers and sisters there. And as far as we know, the Christadelphians we have contact with are fine. There's very little damage to their properties uh, and they still have a water source. Uh, the Latu family on the island of Vavau, we've had no contact yet. Measures have been undertaken to provide food and water supplies to Tongan brothers and their families. And so we continue to pray for them, especially the Latu family. In East Africa, you may have heard of the tropical storm Anna, which has hit Madagascar, Malawi, Mozambique and Zimbabwe. It was in the 22nd to the 25th of January. We've got many, many thousands of brothers and sisters in that region. It's actually about 40% of all of the Christadelphians worldwide. And in particularly in Malawi, we've got over 2,800 of our brothers and sisters needing welfare aid after the storm has destroyed their crops. Many of them are subsistence farmers, so this is really devastating for them. Malawi is in a state of natural disaster, and many Malawians are now in camps after being displaced by floods from their homes. Really sadly, one of our sisters had her three-year-old child die a few weeks ago after not eating for many days. In Mozambique, many of our brothers and sisters have also had their homes and crops destroyed, and there's further cyclones predicted in the coming months. Welfare help is, has been sent to provide short-term support whilst we wait for the ultimate solution of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The CBM at the moment does have sufficient funds, but if you feel moved to contribute to this situation, please resist the temptation to send anything directly to our brothers and sisters in Africa. This generally leads to fairly complicated issues. The CBM does have really well proven processes in place to get help to those who are in genuine need. However, any topping up of CBM welfare funds would be really gratefully received because climate change is now impacting the poorest countries in the world and it's potentially going to become an annual issue and therefore a regular call on the CBM welfare fund. More positively, in West Africa, we've had news of 16 baptisms in Cameroon, which is really encouraging given the years of conflict that our brothers and sisters there have had to live through. And moving to Europe, our brothers and sisters in Ukraine uh, have faced lots of uncertainty in the last few months due to the Russian threat on their border. And so some planned trips to Russia, Belarus and Ukraine in the coming year will have to be dependent on the political situation uh, but they are still being planned to go ahead so we would welcome younger brothers and sisters volunteering to join visits so if you would like to be involved the cbm field worker 
application is on the website, uh, or you can contact Brother Mark Whitaker at markdwhitaker at hotmail.com. And his address can be found under the contact section of the CBM website. So thank you for listening to our second episode. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Um, if you have spotted any mistakes like we had in our first episode, then please contact us um, either through social media or via our email address, which is podcast at cbm.org.uk. And we know that there are many brothers and sisters all over the world who are in need for different reasons. And so we earnestly pray for the soon return of our Lord and Master, Jesus Christ. And I just want to finish with the words from Luke 21. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts fading them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Thank you for listening.